Dr. Thomas Malloy, I presume. You're NSA, aren't you? No, sir, I'm not NSA. My name's Tex Murphy, and I'm a private investigator. I was hired by a friend of yours. I don't have any friends. I have nothing now, nothing but my work. Are you married, Mr. Murphy? Not anymore, thank God. Well, most people never have a happy marriage. I've been lucky enough to have two of them. I lost my first wife long ago, and I just found out that my second wife died yesterday. Murdered. I can't tell you how sorry I am. Oh, she's dead because of me. Damn it! It was stupid to think I could hide her from the NSA. What the hell have I got to live for? Well, you said you had your work. My work? It's my curse! Who did you say sent you here? Gordon Fitzpatrick. Dr. Thomas Malloy, I presume. You're NSA, aren't you? No, sir, I'm not NSA. My name's Tex Murphy, and I'm a private investigator. I was hired by a friend of yours. I don't have any friends, Mr. Murphy. Well, what about Gordon Fitzpatrick? I'd get away from the warehouse with a few bruises and singed hairs, but generally intact. On the way home, I stop at a convenience store and buy a couple of packs of cigarettes. Malloy had been gunned down and I barely escaped, but life goes on and I'm out of smokes. I'm not sure if Fitzpatrick's going to pay me, even though technically I did find Malloy. What I really want from Fitzpatrick is information. I'm certain now that Regan wasn't exaggerating about the value of her father's work. I figure it'll be to my advantage to stay in touch and on good terms with Fitzpatrick. I'd found Malloy just in time to watch him take a bullet. I wasn't sure whether that qualified as solving the case or not. Either way, I had to tell Fitzpatrick the bad news. He comes by my office and I fill him in on what's happened. I guess we're in business. After Fitzpatrick leaves, I think about what to do next. I told the old man I was on his side, but that's not exactly the truth. I'm on my own side, no one else's. Before he died, Malloy was going to tell me what he discovered. I really want to know what it was, and how much it might be worth. If Fitzpatrick can help me along those lines, fine. If he can't, then I'll rely on Regan's help. Either way, I have a pretty good feeling this is all going to pay off big, and I want a hefty slice of that pie. Before I start counting my money, though, I have some work to do. And the first priority is to recover the box the NSA took from me. I guess we're in business. There's something about Fitzpatrick that makes me trust him totally, though I have been wrong in that area before. He knows about the boxes, same as Regan does, but their motivations seem to be worlds apart. I figure my best strategy is to stay right here on the middle ground. The fact of the matter is, I want to know what Malloy was going to tell me. That's my motivation. 
And the first step from here is to recover the box I handed over to the NSA.